This is Stars and Scopes with your friend Uma. Updated every new and full moon with guidance based on planetary transits in the current sky and extra support from tarot. For accuracy, take a look at your rising sign first if you know it, and do feel free to listen to your sun, moon and rising if you'd like the full picture. If you're interested in your birth chart, check out the readings page at umaruby.com. And if you'd like to support the work, head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash umaruby and you can buy me a coffee. Finally, if you're a visual learner, look up Uma Ruby Tarot on YouTube and you can watch and learn. Okay, let's take a look. Hello Cancer and Cancer Rising, welcome to your horoscope for the new moon in Cancer happening on the 29th of June at 12.52pm if you're in the Southern Hemisphere with me. So if we're going to manifest and ritualize this moon, I would gently suggest that you do it the night before on the 28th, just so you get that darkness and you can work under that that black night sky. You can always do it at lunchtime on the 29th as well, that's fine. Uh, So, big stuff, lovely, perfect. It's the new moon for you, darling. It's in your first house, so this is all about you this new moon. This is a beautiful moment. This is a clearing to call in what it is that you hope and wish for on a soul level. So the full moon last two weeks ago, (laughs) the last full moon that we just had, that massive one that knocked us all over, that really shook us to our cause, that changed and forced us to let go of things almost in tune with that of an eclipse, like it was really big. That's a great purging, a great release that we have had, that we've had to regroup from. And what better way to regroup from that but with a new moon in in your first. One thing that I've been learning in uh, my gentle study of esoteric astrology is that cancer has a mantra and that mantra is I feel. So in terms of the soul's journey from up here to here, it's cancer's responsibility to learn the mysteries of what it means to say, I feel. So this is lovely. This is really a beautiful moment for you to call in all of those classic cancer traits that you have, that you hold dear, that, that, that make up the beautiful soul that you are. You're incredibly, incredibly empathetic. You're so gentle and nurturing and kind and you worry for others, sometimes to a point where the nippers come out of your little crab and you can retaliate, which is which is fine. <laughs> Not always. So if at a new moon we're calling in from our soul landscape to top us up, to, to replenish us, to refill our cup, how do we do that and what and and what does that mean to us what are we trying to focus in on i think for you cancer it really is about that emotional space that water body that capacity and brilliance that talent that you have to feel and to love perfect that the tarot card for seven degrees of cancer which is where this is all playing out the new moon is the two of cups which is a medicinal healing card. It's two souls coming together and sharing with one another and loving one another and healing one another. So in this way, in the first house, I see this as you and yourself. I see there's the water, there's the fire, there's that mixture of of the two energies But there's a coming home for you, Cancer, at this new moon. There's going to be a real beautiful, beautiful moment for you to contemplate who it is that you were, who it is that you are, and who it is that you wish to become. So if we think about new moon energy as that option to call it in, to really ask for the messages, to ask for the change, for the shift to happen, then this is all about you and your capacity for love which is bountiful. But let the floodgates open, I say. Let it wash through you. Because there's also, in this sky, there is another square, 
We've had a lot of squares this year. This one's with Jupiter, and it's just from one angle. So it's a right angle from one side. Jupiter is still is in Aries right now, and at seven degrees of Aries, which will be forming this tension, this pressure between the, the new moon and, and Jupiter. But look at it this way. Jupiter is like the supportive auntie of the cosmos. Jupiter expands and zooms in on and encourages. So right now in Aries, which is your 10th house of your career, your public perception, uh, there's some sort of there's some sort of action plan here. You're writing a script at the moment. You're writing a journey, a journey plan right now in that aspect of your life. So rather than feel pressured by that, rather than feeling any sort of push and pull or kind of fight for supremacy like some of the other squares can bring on, look at this as like a reminder that while this is happening for you and this is really important stuff to do this is this you know we, we we each only get one new moon in our sign a year so this is like a beautiful moment for you to really lock the doors close yourself in don't answer your phone take this night for yourself and really contemplate what soul means to you what 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 is that and little jupiter is there to egg you on and to say, oh yes, but all that cool stuff we were concocting about your career or your public persona, how you're perceived by other people, what about that? And you can look at how that, those two can be incorporated. What is, what is in the soul path for you that can be incorporated into the public persona? How is your soul, how is your, your essence seen by other people on the outside? And how can that work how can that be incorporated into your workspace so two of cups two of wands not competing reminding one another <laughs> so these are the tarot cards for the astrology so i'm going to leave these on the board here and i'm going to pull some intuitive tarot and really zone in with spirit and get this story fleshed out so this one's just for Cancer, please, Spirit. Help me along. What does Cancer need to hear right now in this moment at the new moon in their sign, their soul purpose? They're being reignited with their soul purpose. Mm, the Nine of Swords. Of course. Oop. That's too many. Take that one. You know what? I'm going to take them all. That's a big reading, but it will make sense as we go through it. Okay, you're breaking away from a real, real mental battle, Cancer. You're really have done so well to get through it it's been incredibly difficult i can really see that there has been so many competing and conflicting thoughts stabbing you in the brain at all times and you have just been so strong to be able to surmount this pressure and i can really understand how that would be almost debilitating or it would be a, you know a time to throw in the towel i get that but you've come through You've come through the other side. You really have. You've been so strong and you've been so gentle in that strength too. This hasn't been something, there's been no battle here. There's nothing about uh, righteousness or anything like that. There's a real gentle yielding strength to this. And I think in some ways there's a coming back to, there's a coming back to your emotional center. So through this agony of the mind, through this, if it's anxiety or it's depression, I, I, I feel you, Cancer, and I'm with you. I hold you in this space. You hold yourself in this space. You've come, you've come through this. And potentially in your periphery, there's been, there's been an energy that has been with you and yielding and, and, and able to help you cope with these emotions, to, to work through them, to talk through them in that sense. And 
there are it's either it's either them or that's you you know this is you coming back to this space for yourself but i think that there's you know there's there's this there's a co-creation going on here there's 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 a medicinal healing that's about to happen at this new moon so yeah you've you've been receiving some support as well which i'm very glad to see i think that you may have had to have walked away from something is what i'm really getting here you've had to walk away from uh an emotional investment that was not an easy thing to do but to self soothe and to take care of yourself you've had to walk away and you've had to move on and for that you are being congratulated spirit is really letting you know they're saying to me well done this is a lesson this is a big life lesson and this is an example of behavior that you will not tolerate anymore this is an example of a space where you invested quite a lot this is a big life lesson here and you have moved through and moved on from this and you are victorious in your ability to maintain your emotional capacity spirit's really proud of you in this reading cancer it's quite clear there's some things in life that we don't need to worry about righteousness we don't need to worry about uh the unjustness of how it may feel or how unfair some things feel because ultimately there is a space where we must remember that every consequence every that every action has a consequence and nothing goes unreviewed as far as spirits concerned as far as evolution and as far as soul journey so i get a sense that this was incredibly difficult and it was not without big trouble this could have something to do with career and the public self and this is why there's this been this expansion this 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 encouragement to reroute the journey doesn't have to be this i feel that this has got something more to do with your sense of self has been shocked and this new moon is coming right on time for you cancer there's something about this medicinal this reunion is not between two this is between you and yourself this is you and you this is your fire and your water you're coming back into contact with yourself after this extreme difficulty and please remember that justice will be done and that you are a good person and that it took a great deal of gentle strength to walk away with such dignity and knowing who you are at your core you're, that's what you're doing now you're reacquainting yourself at this new moon you're going to call back in your magic who it is that you know that you are that's what's coming back to you cancer i can really feel that here you're supported you're supported through this cancer and you're very loved so much so much this is a this has been a test and you passed the test <laughs> so at this new moon this is your focus i want you to put this i want you to put jupiter out of your mind for the moment i think career and public self can that can we've got plenty more plenty more energy to play around with there as the as the year goes on but this moon this new moon in your sign take this moment to talk about yourself you know like in in that like to 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 focus on yourself that's a banded about <clears throat> phrase quite often oh self care this or the other this is more than that this is like a really go inward go inward and remember who you are and remember how far you've come 
and remember how strong you have been and how powerful strength is when it comes from water, from empathy, from love. There's no greater strength. Well done. All right, I'm going to leave this reading here, Cancer. <laughs> uh, new moon blessings. So much love to you. Please enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Ritualize, you know, crack open your little broomstick and your witch hat if you want to. Get out there under the blackness. Um, you can head over to umaruby.com if you'd like to book a reading with me. I do offer them over there on my website. You can also head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash umaruby if you'd like to give me a tip for my service. Uh, my sand's about to run out, so I'm going to bid you adieu, Cancer, until I speak to you again in two weeks at the full moon in Capricorn, which is in your seventh house of intimate bonds and the other so what a perfect moment to let go in that area, to let go what we don't need anymore, what's no longer serving us, what's no longer in our existence. We'll let it go at that moon. Until then, take care. Bye.